Welcome to the Regional Chamber's 2013 Salute to Business Breakfast. I'm Pete Isamakopoulos, Executive Vice President, Small Business Banking, and Youngstown Market President at First National Bank, and I'm honored to be Chairman of the Regional Chamber Board of Directors. When I see the event on my calendar every year, I know it means three other annual milestones are coming. It's back to school time, it's football season, and of course it's the Canfield Fair. This morning we continue our tradition of not only saluting businesses in the Valley, but kicking off the 167th Canfield Fair and Youngstown State University football season as well. As I reflected on the worthy recipients and their accomplishments, I started to think about our community as a whole and the positive trends we've made over the last several years. It starts with our growth in the shale industry, warehousing, the manufacturing sector, our expansion in healthcare, the strength of the trades, the incubator, the airport, the research and development at NAMI, the revitalization of our cities, add in the consistent low cost of living, the affordable housing, and a great university in YSU. And I believe the main ingredient is the people. The people in this valley, <clears throat> excuse me, are proud and resilient. We've proven that, and the best is yet to come. Let's give ourselves a round of applause for all of our businesses, the success, and the blessings we enjoy. I'd like to begin today's festivities by introducing our head table. To my far left, who's not here yet, we waited for, if we heard he's in the parking lot, Mr. Daniel Catullo, owner of Catullo Prime Meats and Entrepreneur of the Year Award recipient. Mrs. Stephanie Shaw, Executive Director of the Eastern Ohio P16 Partnership for Education and our Nonprofit Professional of the Year. Mr. Joel Mastrovich, Executive Vice President of Operations and Industrial Director, OCTG North America for Valorec and our Business Professional of the Year. Mr. Ted Schmidt, Regional President of PNC and our breakfast sponsor. To my immediate right, Mr. Daniel Dicton, Aviation Director at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport and our Business Advocate of the Year. Colonel James Dignan, Commander of the 910th Airlift Wing at the Youngstown Air Reserve Station. Our U.S. Congressman Tim Ryan and our keynote speaker this morning. Mr. Don Crane, President of the Western Reserve Building and Construction Trades Council and our Salute to Achievement Award recipient and speaker sponsor. And Mr. Tony Paglia, Vice President of Government Affairs of the Regional Chamber. I'm sure many of you have noticed that our President and CEO, Tom Humphreys, is noticeably absent this morning. Tom, unfortunately, was hospitalized a few days ago. I did speak with him last night, and I'm happy to report he is fine. He'll be released hopefully by the end of the day and back at the helm in, 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 in the next few days. Although our thoughts or prayers are with him, and I know he extends uh, his appreciation for everybody that's here today and also all of the recipients. We will officially begin our program as we always do by calling Mr. Chuck Booth, President of the Canfield Fair Board, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance followed by the invocation and a warm welcome on behalf of the entire Canfield Fair Board of Directors. Would you please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standard uh, for the invocation. Lord, thank you very much for bringing all of these professionals together today, people that care about our valley, that take care of our industry and our community. And please bless the food that they are about to eat. And please uh, bless all of us in our lives. Amen. Amen. Good morning. 
Uh, as I mentioned, uh, today is the opening day, the official opening day of the 167th Canfield Fair. And like all original fairs, the Canfield Fair was started to, to actually celebrate the end of the harvest, at the end of the growing season when the farmers would get together, get their, uh, their cattle and horses and their corn and all their, their uh, crops they've grown, show them off. They'd have plowing contests, horse racing, quilts hanging in churches, and the original Canfield Fair started the, the uh, Congregational Church in the center of Canfield on the Canfield Green 167 years ago. And we are still steeped in the tradition with the original Canfield Fair, where we have a junior fair we think is second to none, our pumpkin displays, fine arts, Western Reserve Village. Uh, we have our, our cattle, our horses, our, all of our uh, poultry. Uh, the, the entertainment we have every year is a, is a huge thing. Today, uh, our ribbon cutting starts at 10 o'clock, and we're honored to have the new president of YSU, Dr. Randy Dunn, to cut our ribbon. Our ribbon. Uh, tonight is bike night, so anybody that has a bike, motorcycle, uh, tonight's the bike night. Friday night's demo derby. Saturday is tractor pull. Sunday, we have the, uh, our entertainment is train. Monday is Cheryl Crow and Gary Allen. And also, uh, you know, I don't want to be up here too long because I know there's a, a lot of people that needs to get awards. I'd like to congratulate everybody up here that's about to receive an award for all your hard work. At the Canfield Fair, uh, even though we are steeped in tradition and believe in our agriculture and our farming, we still look forward to the um, the many things that come with our uh, technology. And one of our new things that we have for the Canfield Fair is we have our new Canfield Fair app, which they were going to try to put up on the display here. And if you download, if you go to the app store and you download the Canfield Fair app, it's free. And it gives you all the activities that are happening for the fair. So if you click on entertainment, it'll bring up the entertainment that's going to be uh, for the weekend. So it's, uh, and plus it, it kind of navigates you around the fair. So if you want to find out where the uh, different things are at, that when I hit the entertainment, it didn't work. So hopefully yours will, but uh, uh, you have to know how to use it first. So that's, that helps. But uh, anyway, I would like to thank everybody uh, for this morning and thank the chamber for the breakfast. I'd like to welcome everyone to come to the Canfield Fair and help us to celebrate the harvest. I'd like to see you there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chuck. We are also glad to have uh, the entire fair board here this morning. We're all looking forward to uh, visiting the fairgrounds this week and having some, some food, fun, and, and entertainment. Ordinarily, at this time in the program, we would call on Youngstown State University football coach Eric Wolford to give us a preview of the upcoming season. This year, though, the team's opening game is tonight, at home, against the, the Dayton Flyers. We decided to give Coach a pass today so he could sleep in, focus on tonight, and get ready for the big game. But he's certainly here in spirit. You know, YSU has won 17 years in a row their home opener. So despite being 0-9 against the Flyers, I'm pretty confident that the string will, that string will be broken, and after tonight, we'll have 18 years of winning home openers uh, I'm sure Coach knows we'll be cheering for him uh, this evening. I, I do know that Dr. Uh, Dr. Randy Dunn is in attendance today uh, to the Salute to Big, uh, Business Breakfast. Uh, Dr. Dunn, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, I hope you enjoy the program and please take back our well wishes uh, to, from the nearly 400 people that are here today back to uh, the university and to Coach Wolford. Go Gwins. During the year, the staff of the Regional Chamber works extremely hard to present programs such as this one. We could never accomplish our goals, however, if it wasn't for the outstanding corporate support and commitment from so many of our Chamber partners. This morning's event is sponsored by PNC. PNC is joining our Salute to Business Breakfast as the main sponsor for the fourth year in a row, and we're pleased that they continue to be a part of this ever-growing tradition. Here today to give some remarks from PNC is Mr. Ted Schmidt, Regional President.
Thanks. I'll be real brief. You know, Chuck, you, you talked about a lot of the great things out, the fair, the harvest, the animals, the entertainment. You didn't talk about all the, the new fried foods. I mean, you can get fried pickles, fried peanut butter and jelly, fried pumpkin rolls. That's why my family's going. But uh, in all seriousness, uh, I want to thank everybody for being here today, supporting this great event. And I want to congratulate all of our honorees, their hard work and their dedication. That's really making this valley a great place to be. And in closing, just want to thank the community for supporting PNC Bank. We're having a great year, and we're looking forward to that success into the future. Uh, enjoy the rest of the breakfast, and please go out and visit the fair if you have some time this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Ted, and thank you to PNC again for su the support this morning. We're proud to welcome from the nine 910th Airlift Wing, Colonel James Dignan, and out there in the audience, I believe, is Major Brent Davis as well. We asked the Colonel to join us this morning for a couple of reasons. First, he came on board as commander of the 910 in March, and while we know he's been out in the community trying to meet as many people as he possibly can, we thought there'd be no better way to introduce him to our business community than at this great event today. Additionally, you may recall that several years ago, our Air Reserve Station was fortunate to remain open when several bases closed around the country because of the Department of Defense base realignment and closure process, also known as BRAC. Our community pulled together and the chamber coordinated a campaign to rally for the air base. The closure could have been devastating consequences for our region, as the air base pumped at that time more than 120 million into our economy. Well, BRAC has come around once again, unfortunately. The Colonel is going to give us an update on the BRAC study that's currently underway. As the commander of the 910th, Colonel Dignan is responsible for the training and readiness of more than 1,600 Air Force Reserves and his operational control of 12 C-130 H-2 Hercule tactical cargo aircraft assigned to the wing. The wing is home of the 757th and the 773rd Airlift Squadrons, which, the only, which is the only aerial spray mission in the Department of, of Defense, as well as 12 support units. He is also the civilian leader for more than 400 Air Reserve technicians and civil service employees. Colonel Dignan received his commission through the U.S. Navy Aviation Officer Candidate School at NAS Pensacola, Florida, and received his Wings of Gold at NAS Corpus Christi, Crispy, Texas. He has served as an officer and a pilot in the U.S. Navy, the Air National Guard, and the Air Force Reserve. He is a commander pilot with more than 6,500 hours in trainer, patrol, reconnaissance, and airlift aircraft. And he has flown more than 100 hurricane penetration missions, as well as combat and combat support missions throughout the Balkans, the Horn of Africa, and Southwest Asia. Please give a warm valley welcome for, to Colonel James Dignan. All right, well, thanks for that nice introduction. As my wife would point out, that just means we never unpack the suitcases. <laughs> Keep moving. I just came here in March, uh, as Pete mentioned, from the West Coast, from the Seattle-Tacoma area, and it didn't take me long to realize that the Mahoning Valley is a family. A lot of you have known each other for years and years and years. And just a quick example, it didn't take me long, like within a few hours going on the base, we had multi-generational uh, service members on the base. Grandfathers, fathers, cousins, aunts, uncles, everyone. Every time I looked, I go, you look familiar. I go, oh, you met my brother, or you met my aunt, or you met my cousin. And as I got out into the community, I realized it was true everywhere. So pretty soon I just said, okay, I'm going to be quiet and wait till I realize who this person is and who they're connected to because this entire valley is connected. So why am I standing here in front of you? Because I want to point out why is the 910th Airlift Wing important to each one of you sitting out here? We're one of the top four employers in the valley. We bring in over 120 million of economic impact to this area, and we've been doing that for a number of years. But we're part of your families, we're part of your schools, we're part of your churches, we're part of your community, and we're part of the regional chamber. 
difficult times. We talked about the BRAC. Congressman and I were talking. Not in our near future, he promises. So fingers aren't crossed, are they, Congressman? OK, he's good. So the president did put it out in his budget. Congress has said that's not the right time to do it. So we're still waiting. There are some adjustments that are going on. As we mentioned, we had 12 aircraft. At one point, we had 16. We were down to 12. And the proposal is to move us down uh, further to eight in 2015. So what does that mean? Bottom line, it means about 200 jobs from the air base. About 50 of those uh, are full-time jobs. So there is a definite impact. It's about 10% right off the top. And that's to ensure that the, uh, the Air Force spreads itself out per the guidance. But we need to draw down. We know that's happening. And so my job is to make sure that all of you know and that all of you spread that word out to the rest of your neighbors and business partners and those around the country of why the 910th is important to the rest of the country. And I'll finish with one important thing. I was out in May to go visit the congressional delegations from the area. And I told my guys, I said, I want to be, I want to go out and visit with each congressman, each senator that is affected by those airmen out at the 910th airlift wing. We visited almost 40 different offices. Uh, obviously, Congressman Ryan and his staff did a great job uh, getting us out there. But one of those important things, and I'm not sure if we have any of the Western Pennsylvania delegation here, but when I visited with uh, the junior senator from Pennsylvania, he was giving me this, and uh, he was very proud that Pittsburgh remained open, and, and it was essentially, why are you here talking to me about Youngstown? I said, sir, did you realize that you have almost 200 employees working, or 200 constituents working as employees at the Youngstown Air Reserve Station? It is important to you to know that what happens seven miles this side of the state line is important to the state of Pennsylvania. It's important to the whole Mahoning Valley and all the way out. We have employees working and coming from as far away as Chicago, New York, Virginia, Florida, Texas. The impact is wide. So we have great folks out there doing great things. Right now, I'll just tell you we have, I think, uh, 30 folks are leaving today, heading out over to the uh, uh, Southwest Asia region. We've had folks participating there for the last 15 years uh, at one stage or another, and it continues for the foreseeable future. Our airmen are there to defend our freedom, to support you, and when they come back, they'll be working for you, or you might be working for them, true of some of them. But it's a pleasure to meet you all. Hopefully I get to work with all of you in the near future, and thanks for having me. Colonel, thank you. Uh, I, I know this community will be ready if and when uh, we're called upon to, to support the base. And uh, we appreciate uh, everything that you do in serving our nation. Before we move into the awards portion of our breakfast, I'd like to take a few minutes to recognize some very special companies that are in attendance. You know, it's pretty amazing that so many businesses in our valley celebrate milestone anniversaries year after year and have chosen Youngstown Warren as their home. But it's also significant to the regional chamber the number of companies that have supported the organization as members for as many years as, as they've been in business. Chamber membership is voluntary. It's unlike your mortgage payment, your car payment, or your utility. No one is going to come after you if you choose not to join in the main part of the organization. So the fact that we have had so many businesses uh, that exceed 79 years speaks volumes of the commitment to the chamber and their belief in what we do from the vision of the leadership to the member membership services we offer and the efforts of the economic development team and government affairs division. When we look at our database, the longevity was staggering. So we wanted to honor our milestone chamber anniversaries of 25 years or more in five-year increments, 25, the 30-year, the 35, and so forth. And then anybody over 70 years that's in, able to be in attendance this morning. You probably noticed there's some balloons at the table, and a lot of them didn't pick them up. They're over on the side. Um, but there are 11 companies that are here today. So on behalf of the staff, the board, fellow members, the entire community, Thank you for your support, passion, and contribution. We truly could not accomplish our goals and mission without you, and we congratulate you for your success and look forward to celebrating with you for many more years to come. I would ask that those who are present from these companies to stand as I read their names, remain standing, and if the audience will hold their applause till the end. With 25 years of service, City Machine Technologies, Inc., and Keating, Keating, and Kuzman, 
with 30 years, Caslow Community Improvement Corporation and CenturyLink. With 40 years, WKBN, WYTV, WYFX, and the Youngstown Columbiana Association of Realtors. With 45 years, PNC. With 70 years, Huntington National Bank. With 74 years, Canteen Service of Steel Valley, Inc. and the Public Library of Youngstown and Mahoning County. And with 78 years of membership, First Place Bank. Can we please give these companies a huge round of applause? We have certificates to present to these companies. If one of the representatives will stay after, we'll make sure you get one. Moving on to the presentation of our salute awards. If you've been watching the Regional Chamber's Take 5 video newscast, you may have noted that highlighted our special group of award recipients in yesterday's edition as well in, as in the August 14th edition. We asked them about their greatest accomplishment on other matters relative to their specific careers and were able to glean a bit into their stories in their own words. And we're going to share them with you again this morning. But first, as you know, you can't get to the main feature until you see a trailer for coming attractions. And we couldn't resist debuting one of them for you of one of the upcoming events. You may recall that the Regional Chamber held its first black and white gala last fall that featured a Dancing with the Stars-like competition among six of our Valley celebrities. And I do believe that one of our recipients participated in that last year. They spent weeks prior learning and practicing dancing with the partners from Fred Astaire, and the winner, who was Nikki Carter from Humility of Mary Health Partners, took home a mirror ball and $1,000 for her charity of the choice. This year's event will be on October 26th, and we'll be here before, it'll be here before you know it, and it's really great evening of fun, auctions, and entertainment. Plus, a portion of the proceeds benefit the American Red Cross in the Mahoning Valley. If all of this isn't enough, allow me to give you six more reasons to attend. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to turn your attention to the screens to meet this year's dancers. So how'd you guys get into this? Well, Kim from the chamber sent me an email, then a phone call, not doing anything that night. I was hesitant until I found out you were the competition. Now I like my chances. Well, I was at a wedding, and honestly, I got recruited because by far, hands down, I have the best rhythm. Well, here I was at that table. wedding. You don't have rhythm, you're not going to win. And I saw you dance this summer at the Lake Club. You have no chance. Oh, is that a fact? That's it. Well, why don't we just settle this on the dance floor? I am going to so kick your butt. Really, how heavy can these tiny professional dancers be? I'm strong enough. Ah, I got this. Yeah, I'm practicing for this dance. I don't even know why, man. I'm gonna win this thing anyway, you know? All right, catch you later. Bob Hannon, Eric Ryan, dancing. Ah, wow, man, that hurts. I have to get this checked. Good thing there's no punching and dancing. Great workout. Thanks. Are you guys getting excited for October? I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Are you guys getting nervous? I am a little bit nervous. Who do you think is going to win? It's definitely going to be one of you two. I've seen your routine in practice. It's flawless. I have two left feet. Are you kidding? Those hips don't lie. You're going to do fantastic. And look at you. Oh, no. I'm not very good. You have past experience, and it shows. Not since I was a child. Look at you. They're going to troll you around on the floor like a ballerina. No, I won't win. Well, we'll definitely beat the guys. We have to. Absolutely. Let's get out of here. I'll see you.
see you guys later. Good luck. Good luck. I don't even know why they're practicing. I'm gonna win. I so love this. They don't stand a chance. Competition, what competition? I've got this in the bag. Competition is stiff. Who will take home this year's Mirror Ball Trophy? Will it be Alexa Sweeney Blacken, Holly Klauser, Bob Hannon, Trish Trina, Ken Kohler, or Eric Ryan? Join us October 26th to find out. For more information, go to regionalchamber.com.